just put my anniversary flowers in the vase in the dining room and I'm about to sit down for a little coloring session because tonight we are going out for dinner and I don't have to make any dinner. All right, pretty aren't they? So, like I said, we're going out for dinner and I don't have to make food. So, let's see what we're going to color in while everybody else is getting ready. Now, even though I work at home, I do not go to the office in my track pants or pajamas. Maybe on a Sunday if I have to do something, but I like to be dressed and ready for anything in case I have to have a meeting with someone or go out somewhere. So I'm dressed, makeup's ready, hair's done and I can go. And no, I'm not always that uptight. I do have times where I completely relax and will not be bothered about um, appearances or going out or doing anything like that but for the most part I do take my working from home career very seriously so as you can see we've done quite a few coloring pages and I haven't marked these with what days I put them up but um, YouTube is keeping track of that <laughs> I think this one was Monday the 14th, yes. So every time I'm a little bit indifferent I'll grab a random page and start coloring that in and also skip to other areas so we've done that as well and I've also showed you how to draw the um, hibiscus so you'll know how to draw your own Trying to see what I feel like covering in. Hmm. Little hands help me there. <laughs> lavender. Let's do lavender. Okay, so again, working with a water brush, a tissue, a little bit of water in case I need extra I'll just put it to one side for safety because I am working on my little table oh, the cat's dinner is being <laughs> deposited into her bowl okay so lavender <clears throat> has this milky green and Purple, sometimes lilac-y, lilac <laughs> a lilac hue. Let's get a darker green as well. Right, and how about yellow for some of the background. Let's do that here. Okay, let's check the names. Red violet. Deep rose. Deep violet. Sicilian yellow, 
Ionian green and light olive. Let's start with a little one today. Deep violet. I think we'll do those darker bits there. And you'll see this color pop once I put some water on it. And I'm just coloring everything in one go. <laughs> there we go. Now I am going over the lines um, to represent the fluffiness or the popping of the buds so while I've got that color in my hand let's go in here now I'm going to pretend that I've got some light coming in from this side so all these sides are going to have one of the other colors I'm coloring in this left hand top side and bottom and you'll see why once I put the water on and I have all the colors down. And it's just another way to be somewhat more expressive and playful with your coloring. And you know what? These water soluble coloring pencils sort of feel like they take the pressure off of that really painstakingly perfect coloring and allow you to have more freedom and expression while using color so don't be afraid to add some color but i've noticed especially when we color in together that sometimes you tend to, even though you're allowed to layer and do whatever you want, but sort of overwork areas. So it's really important to know when to stop. <laughs> I think I'll put the other color in before I move on. Now I've not used the red violet yet. So let's use it for this one in that center area and see if I like it. That's all right. Pretty sure it will have its uses. So let's try the deep rose. I see, I like that way more. But this one was too dark. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Let's try it again. This time just a light sprinkle of that color. Oh my gosh. Did you see how I angled my brush away from that center because there's a lot of pigment on the tip and if I went into that center that would have the dark color again. Maybe overshadowing that. Okay. Again with the deep rose and the deep highlight. Try one without any additional color. So with other other <laughs> Anna, with other watercolor. Um, or water-soluble 
coloring pencil, I've noticed that there's never enough pigment. But with these Derwent ink tins ones, there's more than enough pigment. So these little wispy blossom frilly things, I think I'll do a variety and this one. That one. I had to put the light on because it somehow feels a little bit dark outside. Or maybe it was just because all the curtains are closed behind me. I was sitting out this afternoon and then that one. And what I was doing didn't require that much light so I closed the curtains. I haven't opened them yet so I'll do that again tomorrow morning. Okay and I'm not worried about going over the lines. Sometimes I even like doing that on purpose. <laughs> okay. One with a little dark flame. Color in the rest. With deep violet. Oh sorry, red violet. Now the camera might not pick up on this subtle shift between this color and that color, but from where I'm sitting, the one is very much muted, this uh, red-violet, and that one is somewhat brighter and more pink. Okay, so for the leafy bits, before we get to the leafy bits, let's do some of this background color with the Sicilian yellow. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll see if dad's ready. <laughs> yes, you look so pretty. <laughs> okay, so I think this is gonna be a two-parter and that's all right with me because I'm doing this to relax and unwind. I'm not doing this to reach a certain goal or a certain outcome. So this is my session for today and I'll attach the other video tomorrow and then we can have another two-parter. Okay, bye for now. Okay, good morning. We are getting ready for today 
I think we've got half a picture done yesterday and we'll finish it up right now. So, oh yes, we were busy colouring that background in yellow. I think I did dissolve that. Yeah, that's dissolved. So let's do the same on the other side. Okay, this is just to get a little bit of a color vignette going. It doesn't have to be something specific. hitting those little gaps between the leaves here and there. And I might not even get all of them, but that's fine with me. So it's still kind of early in the morning. Nobody else has emerged from their, their uh, caves, if I can put it that way. Um, but I did close some doors so that I can speak on camera and I don't have to whisper. Even though it feels like I'm whispering. <laughs> Right, next up, these two greens. <clears throat> now, I haven't tasted these. Let's just keep them spot there. I'm not really sure what they look like. And this one is the light olive. Yes. 
And for the bottom, we'll do the Ionian green. messy and I love it. All I'm doing is selecting a few of these leaves to colour in. Again, keeping the concept of having lighter leaves on the top and the darker leaves at the bottom. like I don't have a lot to say in the mornings <laughs> that I have so much more to say in the afternoons so I have to do this this morning before the rest of my day starts as I really want to get this finished and also edited and uploaded for um, today's contents so it was a little bit of an early start for me. But I do believe that I prefer getting an early head start as I have so much more free alone time, if I can put it that way, um, to focus and to get into business with the least amount of distraction as no one else is awake so early <laughs> and therefore I have all that time for doing my most important task of the day first and yes today this because it's part of Flow October um, series is one of my top priorities and that's besides getting it to you of course
Now I don't want to get too carried away with everything. So let's stop there. Finish off those leaves. So let's read the lavender. Lavender is great for all kinds of healing needs. The essences are especially lovely and gentle to wash clean our vibrational frequencies. Soothing the mind and body to overcome worries, lavender has long been known for its purity and healing negative thoughts and making room for peaceful rest. Lavender floral essence opens the flow of an overactive mind to gain calm clarity that's it oh and i started taking my coffee i reckon i'll have to warm that up again <laughs> may you live happily mindfully creative and joyful throughout your days